Have you ever wondered how the radial tires on your tractor or implements are built? This video from Titan Tire and Goodyear Farm Tires will briefly cover our tire manufacturing process. The rubber used to make Titan and Goodyear Farm Tires is made up of many ingredients. These include natural and synthetic rubber, carbon black, and other ingredients. The ingredients are mixed together in a machine similar to a bread mixer. The rubber mixture is milled into flat sheets and folded onto pallets. Test samples of each batch are cut off and sent to the lab for analysis to verify that all parameters are within acceptable limits. The rubber stock is then fed into a machine that applies the rubber to a nylon fabric which forms the plies of the tire. The finished rolls are called calendar fabric rolls. The calendar fabric rolls are taken into a ply cutting machine. At the ply cutting machine, the cords in the calendar fabric are cut to the correct radial angle and width for the tire. At the tire assembly machine, the bead for the tire and other components come together to form the tire core. A sheet of compounded rubber is first laid down to provide air retention for the tire. Then several plies are added to create the carcass of the tire. These plies provide for the correct strength of the tire relative to its rated load index. The machine then places the beads. Then the tire machine automatically turns the fabric up and around the beads. This locks the beads into the tire. The operator applies the chaffer strips that add additional material to the bead area for increased strength and durability. The strip lamination process adds the sidewall to the tire core. The sidewall compound provides additional durability to the tire sidewall. The belts and tread are now added to the tire at the second stage lamination machine. The number of belts added and the strength of the cord in the belts are relative to the rated load index of the tire. A laminator applies the tread compound to the tire over the belts. This will help the tire resist wear and provide long-term durability. After the belts and tread are added, the tires are ready to be cured in a mold. Cure time and temperature for a tire are based on the amount of rubber at the thickest point. Rubber cures at a constant rate, and the thicker the tire, the longer the cure will take and the lower the temperature should be. Once the tire is done curing, it is cooled on a rotating hanger. While rotating, any extra flash is trimmed and the tire is thoroughly inspected. Tires are then sent to the warehouse for shipping or to the mounting area to be mounted to the wheel. We hope this video provided you with insight into the radial tire production process. It involves many steps and quality control is key to the process. For more information, go to titan-intl.com.